Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harsik and in today's video we will be see how to perform the bubble shot. Bubble shot is very straightforward algorithm in which we compare the adjacent element and if they are in the wrong order then we shut the element. So I will be take the two for loops, one is outer and the second one is inner for loop. Both are the nested for loop and first for loop will be goes from 1 to arr.length minus 1 and the second one is from 1 to arr.length minus 1 as well but we will be we will be see how we can how we can perform the efficiently bubble short by visualization so let's see so in the first citation i is a one means the outer for loop is one and the inner for loop is also a one so we will be check if right one and the left one is in the correct order if not then we swap so in this step we swap five with seven and when i j will be the two the inner for loop will be the add the two then we shape the seven with four because they are in the wrong order as well for three and seven and seven and one so you can see at the every iteration one element is sorted and placed in their correct order so next time if we perform or we iterate the inner for loop we will minus the one from the end because in every iteration one element is fixed at their correct order so that's why we we take the n instead of arr dot length because in the next time we will be minus one in the n that's why we take the take the n not the arr dot length so now when i become two the outer for loop will be two and the inner for loop will start from 1 2 and minus 2 because one step is over so swap the adjacent elements if they are in the wrong order now same and now as well we swap the 5 and 1 and you can see in the second step one more element is also placed at their correct order so in the next time we will minus the one from the n value as usual we are subtracting one in every iteration so we don't need to go and compare the last index values as well no we don't need so that's why this types of we perform in the bubble short so when the i become the three also we will swap the three with four and the four with one and the in step in this step when i become the three we will be perform only the two iteration because five and four and seven is also placed in their correct order so don't need to compare them that's why we perform and subtract the one from the n so in the when the i become four and j become one so we come we compare the adjacent element and the swap so in the next iteration you can see our array is sorted according to the ascending order so in this way we can perform the bubble shot and this iteration perform n minus one times because there are five elements and in in every iteration of the nested for loop inner for loop we subtract the one from the n value because in every iteration the one element will be placed at their sorted sorted order or a correct order so this is the code snippet we you can understand there is a two for loop nested for loop one is uh, goes from i to arr dot length minus one and the second one is from j one and j is more than n and n is you can see is also the arr dot length but in every iteration we subtract the one from from the n value because in every iteration one element will be at their the sorted order or their the correct place so you can see and in this if we comparing the elements if j minus one is uh, greater from arr of j then we swap the elements if not don't need to do anything so if our video is helpful for you and uh, you want to see this type of videos and want to learn the programming algorithm so like our video share our video and subscribe our channel happy coding